Hello quilters, I'm Lisa Alexander. I am head of marketing here at Moda Fabrics and I'm also a quilter. Today I am going to show you my spinning star block for the Blockheads 5 series. Don't be intimidated, it's not near as complicated as it looks. Join along with me, I'll show you the tips and tricks on how to make it. So to make the 12 inch spinning star, you're gonna need two strips that are an inch and three fourths. You're going to need four squares that are three and three eighths, and four squares that are four and three eighths. And each of those we're going to cut diagonally down the middle. So I'm back at the sewing machine and one uh, important tip that uh, comes in handy anytime that you're going to subcut your strips at an angle is you're going to want to stagger your strips the width of what you have them cut. So this is an inch and three fourths. So I'm just going to use that to turn it and drop down my strip. Sometimes that can really save you from having to make a whole entire um, new set of strips. Uh, it compensates for any miscut or for this particular one, we pretty much need the whole length of the, the strip anyhow. At this point, I press with a dry iron because I don't want to wet the fabric at all and it uh, distort it at all. But the nice thing is, is if you'll go ahead and press it before you need to press it open, then that helps it just lay flatter. And I like to just at this stage, press from the top here instead of pressing from the back because I can make sure that I don't get a little pleat or a little pucker. And it's important to have this seam going straight so you can use it to line up your 45 degree when you come back and subcut it. And then now we'll be ready to subcut our sections. The one trick I really wanted to share with you today is I like to turn my fabric and have it follow along on the 45 degree angle so I'm still making straight cuts. For the 12 inch block, we're going to cut three inch strips. So I'm gonna get rid of my selvage down here at the bottom. Then we're gonna cut three inch strips. So I'm going to line up my ruler at three inches and then I'm going to make holding down nice and tight and make my cuts. So this way I'm just going to keep on with my ruler being straight versus trying to constantly uh, hold my ruler at an angle and cut. We're going to cut eight of these and then we're going to be ready to sew. I have my uh, four quadrants laid out for my spinning star. One thing I wanted to also share with you is I have the red that will actually form kind of the pinwheel. And if you squint at it, the reason I chose that is because the red is darker. But really, if you wanted the blue to be your inner piece that formed the pinwheel, it's just as that easy to turn around and swap them. So if you want to make lights and darks or different varieties of things. I am making a whole quilt of this, so I'll have lots of different options for how I put that together. So I'm gonna start with sewing a triangle, lining up at the tip and then having a little bit of an overhang at the end and just chain sew them together, keeping in mind, I like laying it out this way because it's repetitive and you won't mess up as long as you do every single one the same way. You can also look at it and double check. Make sure that, okay, this looks like that one. It's very easy to get it twisted by the time you actually go to the sewing machine and start sewing that you might have flipped something in one direction or another. We're back at the sewing machine and one little tip that I have, again, keeping in mind, this now is going to be on the straight of grain, but I always like to sew where my point is going to be so I can make sure that I get a good point and then 
if I need to stretch or pull one direction or the other if it is a little bit small there. But that's going to ensure that I have a very nice point at, at my beginning. I know I'm making it look easy. Don't get discouraged at all. I highly uh, recommend practicing and then you definitely will have mastered the 45 degree angle and sewing with bias edges. And once you have that down, you can, you can tackle the most complex Lone Star block or tons of other designs. And now we're gonna press those together, press those seam allowances, and we'll be right back to finish the block. Now we're going to sew our two quadrants into halves and then two halves into one block. I can tell that I, there's a quarter of an inch difference here, so when I come back and sew my other half on, it will still give me very nice points there. And this is where I would press my seam open so that lays nice and flat and gets rid of some of that bulk to make sure that you have nice flat matching seams. And a lot of times I also like to look at it from the inside so if you open it up from here you can see that right at this point where those four fabrics meet, and right at this point where these four fabrics meet, you want those to all join in the middle. And so whether or not you put a pin there to know exactly, or whether you take a marking pencil or anything and just draw a line so that you make sure you hit right where you want. With this particular one, I can tell with this seam allowance right here that that's where I'm gonna wanna hit. Again, don't be discouraged if your block is, is stretchy because you are sewing through some bias. So I'm gonna slow down here, sew right to that point, through the point. And finish up that star. Pretty good. So once I hit it with the iron, that'll lay nice and flat. And then I have a good quarter of an inch on all my points. If for some reason that you don't like, see that's a little bit off, you know, a little less than a quarter of an inch, I'll just join it with a scant seam allowance there but all, all of them look good. There's another 12 inch spinning star block. Each week we put out content for Blockheads 5 from various Moda designers. Be sure and like and subscribe to follow along. Happy sewing.